This vote is expected to take place Saturday at 1 p.m. As we near Ken Paxton's impeachment trial. He's on trial for corruption and bribery. The number three guy in the state. This hasn't happened in more than 100 years for a statewide official. I hope the House makes the right decision, but if not, I look forward to a quick resolution of the Texas Senate. The suspended attorney general of Texas will face a jury of senators. There have been 121 hours and 23 nays. The resolution is adopted. We should all care if somebody who's elected to represent every single one of us is misusing his office, and that's what the allegation is. At WFAA, we have the most experienced reporters to cover it. And we should all care about that. I agree. Anchor and senior reporter so Teresa Woodard. Things. So many different controversies. Anchor and Yolitics co-host Jason Wheeler. He'll be live in Austin from the trial. Big Republicans. Senior political reporter Yolitics co-host and inside Texas politics host Jason Whiteley. We'll have the live stream. We'll have legal guests on every day. And investigative reporter Tanya Iser. An offering analysis. Every night, you know, 6 and 10 o'clock, we're going to make sense of what has happened that day. Paxton is facing 20 charges, but he'll be tried for 16. 10 of those 16 relate to one person, a guy named Nate Paul. He's an Austin real estate developer. He's gotten into some issues, into some trouble. The allegations are that Paxton gave Nate Paul special access in exchange for having Paxton's house repaired and renovated in Austin. It was Paxton's hand-picked deputies who blew the whistle on the attorney general. He fired them. They then sued and agreed on a $3.3 million settlement. He had to get that money from the state legislature. If this legislative body does not vote to pay that, then what would be the, the next steps? What will happen then? And that sparked the committee to investigate, at first quietly. Lawmakers have said if Ken Paxton would not have asked us for that $3.3 million settlement, we wouldn't be here. I'm just trying to get some clarity. Is the case against the state of Texas or is it against General Paxton? The, the, the case is against the state. I don't think that anyone really expected the Republicans in the House to go after the Republican Attorney General. All 31 senators will uh, have a vote. If Paxton is found guilty of even one charge, he will be removed from office. Then they're going to have to take another vote after that that could potentially bar him for, from future office. Our team has covered it from the beginning. I'm real curious to see what that witness list looks like when we actually get there. And we will see through this trial that impacts every Texan. It matters because democracy. The trial starts Tuesday, September 5th, and we will be providing live streaming coverage. You can watch the proceedings with analysis from our team of experts on WFAA Plus, on Apple TV, Roku, and Amazon Fire TV.